Well, in today's digital world, pretty much everything is put into numbers. You know, photographs, and sounds, everything is in numbers. And when you want to modify the sounds or enhance the images, you change the numbers, and that's done with mathematics. Well, mathematics is the language of science, and nature is everywhere around us. So in mathematics, we're not actually confined by the natural laws, which means we can go beyond that. So there's always something new to try out and some new boundaries to push back. People always ask why we study mathematics. So we can think about this question in two directions. One, it's an interesting subject by itself. Second, of course, it has applications. And actually, I would say mathematics is the base for all of the subjects. Uh, so mathematics is fundamental science. And, and if you learn it well, you can go to collaborate with other scientists. You can go to work to company and you can somehow pursue this as individual career. Uh, we are very strong here in special, some special fields of, of, of mathematics, especially like mathematical physics. We have very strong stochastics. And if you are interested in research, you can work here with one of the best people of the world, and then you can continue after you graduate. Well, the research in Kumpula is very collaborative. And for the students, this is nice as well, because they can uh, take courses from computer science, physics, mathematics, and combine them in a meaningful way. First, the students, when they start here to, in, my, in our master program, they will have some core courses. And during that, they will somehow find out what is the most interesting subfield of mathematics or statistics. And after a few basic courses, then they choose what they do, uh, what is the specialization, contact our research group members here and negotiate what they should study. And then they continue this, this and then they do finally a master's thesis in collaboration with some research group. I have this feeling that uh, the courses I start, studied here, I have a very good understanding of all the ideas of the courses. And I not, didn't just learn it by heart, some formulas or something, but I just understood them. Well, coming from the outside, it's not always easy to get to know people uh, who've been studying here and from their friend groups in the past. But there are many student organizations and clubs that you're free to join. And not only do you get to hang out with people uh, in your studies, but you also get to meet people with different academic backgrounds. A few really world-class research groups here uh, in Kumpula. We have uh, the mathematics of inverse problems in mathematical physics. These groups offer unique courses and also unique connections, for example, to the physicists, physicists right next door. Well, there are many student organizations and they organize parties, they organize events. So it's a great way to get to know people and to have some fun. And then in the city in general, well, especially in the summer, there are many festivals, cultural events. So there's a lot to enjoy in Helsinki. <laughs>